Hi, everyone. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and this is our 21st Century Superhuman live show. I really felt like I wanted to talk to you today. I've had friends who have been in the fires out in Oregon, and I've seen some things online that have just kind of blown my mind um, as far as the change that we're in right now. So I wanted to share some of that with you and how to relate to these things in a positive, co-creative way. Um, I am using this quote. One of the things that's been said lately and um, that's very interesting. It's been said in a lot of um, like the Charlie Ward videos, Charlie Freak, some of the current really uh, forward thinking frontline viewpoints is that we are in World War III. Wow, what does that mean? And it is a war for the human soul. It is a battle for our light, for our souls. And it's being fought on a psychological level. It's being fought on a in social media, in public. Um, oh, hi, Nancy. Yes, your son will be in Washington on Monday. So let's look at what's going on here and talk about this a little bit. I'm using the quote, whoops, don't want to slide that over there. I'm using the quote from Ephesians 6.12 today because I feel like it's really powerful and it talks about what is going on here. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against cosmic powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual forces of evil in high places. Wow, what does it mean? And it says, put on the full armor of God so you can make your stand against the devil's schemes. And what is devil but live spelled backwards? And somehow we have ended up on planet Earth here in this process of living spelled backwards. A lot of things are run by, we'll call them the devil, we'll call it the, the forces of darkness. I just want to read a few of these translations from Ephesians because when you go and look a Bible verse up online, what's very interesting is there's a lot of different focuses on that translation and I love it. Um, so the New International Version says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil, against life in heavenly realms. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities in the unseen world and against evil spirits in heavenly places. I'll just read bits of these. We're fighting against the cosmic powers over present darkness, you know, and, and they say this is a galactic battle that's going on. This is going on on so many dimensional levels. We are fighting against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. We are fighting against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against evil spiritual forces in the heavens. We are not fighting against humans. This is the contemporary English version. We are fighting against forces and authorities, against rulers of darkness and powers in the spiritual world. For we are not fighting against, and this is the Good News translation, we are not fighting against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, the authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. So this is really powerful. And <clears throat> excuse me, what we want to look at is, are we, are we aware that we are, everything that's going on at some point, we were given the gift in our creation of being creators, of carrying the creative power that God who created us gave us. And as Yeshua says, Jesus, these things shall you do and greater. And so we have these abilities and that's what all of my books are about. The 21st century superhuman books, four volumes are about 
how we are living in a quantum world and how as we think, as we act, as we feel in this world, we literally put out a resonance. So how are these negative things happening? And at some point, we gave up our creatorship. And I call it Adam and Eve in the garden. We can take any story that we want, but that there is a point at which we said, oh, I'm not responsible. He's responsible. It's out there. The truth is there is no out there out there. What we carry in our hearts, in our conscious and our unconscious is what is resonating in this world. So I don't want to go back and just say, blame it on us but say, let's go through this great awakening and begin stepping up to the plate and say, I am responsible for this world. I do care about what happens in this world. Behind me, you see a picture of people near Eugene, Oregon, and all the smoke that is in the air. My friend actually took this little video. I'm not going to show the video, but just the picture. And what was really interesting was the day before these fires happened and they had to evacuate their farm, the picture on um, the right side of the screen is from a live um, image. I was watching Dutch Sense do, I'm not sure if I pronounce his name right. Do you guys know Dutch Sense? Um, I, I've watched him for years off and on, and I haven't been lately, but he's the guy who reports on all the earthquakes. He shows the earthquake maps. He can kind of even predict what's happening. So I was on a live broadcast with him, and as he was broadcasting, these black spots were showing up in the western part of the U.S., and this is amazing. This one is like 17 miles long and four miles wide. It goes through two counties, and they appeared in an instant, and he was going, Oh my gosh, look at this. There were no fires here. And he actually zoomed in and we could see fire burning at the base of these. So I knew, and I think everybody else who was watching him knew that something like do directed energy weapons were being used to start these fires. And we have to ask ourselves, we live, you know, many of us live in this beautiful country of the U.S. And why would someone, someone actually who has the power actually use weapons against our own people? Well, right now we're pre-election. We are, something has been happening that is called cognitive dissonance. You know what cognitive dissonance means? It's kind of big words, but cognitive dissonance is when everything that seemed normal does not seem normal anymore. And we're trying to figure out where our footing is. We're trying to figure out where our balance is, where our core. And I just want to remind us all today that our core, our center is in our heart, our mind and heart. We run those together in a balanced way. We breathe, smile, and love, and we literally change our neurobiology to make good things come to us, to make good things happen in the world around us. So cognitive dissonance is something that has been created by what's going on with the coronavirus, all of the regulations with COVID-19, all of the, the social distancing and wearing masks and stepping into what really, I did a show on this called bats, rituals. I'll put the link in here, um, but it's really good. And it's on how these are really part of a ritual initiation that's kind of been implemented around the earth. And I know there's people who would completely argue with me and say COVID-19 is real and it may be a real virus, but what has been implemented is something to get us to bow to someone who says that they are still in charge of us. Now there's a reporting on, um, Charlie Freak does a great show, um, A to Z. I, I can put it in here as well. I'll put it in the links. My links that I've been putting for my books and my website, I actually had a friend get a hold of me from Scotland, and he told me that Facebook had distorted my links so that my links were not taking him. It was just saying there was nothing there. So it's it's interesting what's going on right now. For the last few months, I've been feeling like I have handcuffs on. I usually am posting a lot on Facebook. I can't post anything, basically only on my own timeline. And if I try and post anything else, they just say, um, 
you are only allowed, you're only allowed to post so much, so we're not allowing you to post right now. And usually they remove this at some point. Well, I'm, I'm sure some of you right now are in a new Facebook. I have kept going back to Classic, but the last time I went to, back to Classic, they said, you now have 48 hours of the old Classic Facebook, and suddenly Facebook is going to be this new Facebook, which again, right now before the election, this is creating cognitive dissonance. And so we want to look at the ways that cognitive dissonance is being created in our world and how we can counterbalance ourselves in light of this. My heart goes out, first of all, to all the people that have been dealing with these fires. It's a terrible thing. I know as my friends drove out of their driveway yesterday, trees were lying on the ground. And it's beautiful trees that they had. They even had names for them. And I remember those trees because I've seen them. But the trees were lying on the ground and they hadn't been burned. They were just lying on the ground. So folks, there's a lot going on that is these powers of darkness that have been in control. So what I started to say about Charlie Freak's A to Z video, which is really good, he tells some of this history, how these 13 families who house themselves in um, Venice, Italy, because they consider themselves on an island so that they're not, the laws of planet Earth are not applicable to them. They're behind these big foundations like the Rockefeller Foundation and George Soros and all of these people who have been the multi-billionaires who have been harvesting off of humanity, selling our birth certificates, um, trading them on the stock exchange and our death certificates. So all of this has been going on and we ask ourselves, how did we get here? How did we get into this mess? Well, it was by giving up our knowledge of our creatorship. So we're, we're reawakening to that. We're reawakening to that as we dwell in love, we dwell in the heart. We say we're willing to be responsible for our countries, our people. We're willing to not be at war with each other. This is what Hitler did um, in World War II. He had these guys he called the brown coats, and they went out and started riots. And he defunded the police in order to make that happen. And what he said was, anything, if I can incite fear, then I'll get people to do anything. So we need to get out of fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And, you know, how do you say that when people are dealing with fires? There's literally something going on in their physical world. Well, what we have to do, whatever is happening in our world, is just come into love. I mean, it's the best way to deal with anything that happens. We can sort of consider this a big video game. We're being asked to step up to the plate. We're being asked to awaken. We're being asked to step into our own higher powers, our own abilities. And we literally will change this world with love. I'm confident of that. I'm confident that we are going into a new age founded in love. And this is what the Mayans predicted that we are in the great shift of the ages. As light pours into the planet, we recognize ourselves as quantum beings, that there is a new presence taking place in this world. So let's be aware of what is going on right now, and let's be aware of what we align ourselves with. I know someone sent me a article this morning on the mark of the beast and someone preaching on what that was all about. And we can tear down the good that we see going on around us, or we can choose to align with the good. What we have to do is really remember our own heart, our own soul presence, and activate our own soul presence. The best thing we can do right now is to be proactive in our community of home, family, our social community. Right now, a lot of people that I know who have been frontline disclosure people for many years are being in a way kind of kicked off of Facebook, kicked off of YouTube, their accounts are being frozen. And as that's happening, they're going to other platforms. We are looking at a way to start a new platform. So I will be sending something out about that soon. Um, I feel like a lot of the social media platforms that exist are a little underwhelming. Um, I don't know if you know it, but Right after World War II, there were Nazi leaders who came here and worked with the CIA to start something called Operation Mockingbird. And Hollywood comes out of that. Most of our movies come out of that. Our television news comes out of that. So this has been a way to manage the sheeple, the group mind of the people. So it's really important that we 
We listen to new disclosure news. We educate ourselves. We learn what's really going on here and how do we step up to the plate and become a resonance for good in this world. So I just want to send deep love out to um, my friends in the West, the Western U.S. who have been dealing with winds and wildfires fires. I was really excited to see snow in Colorado. Also recently I made a video. Um, it's called Defending Your Home and it's about making Organite, Ormus, GANs and other plasma tools. It tells you exactly how I made that video as a guide. I'll also put that link in this video. I want to encourage us all to link together to use these new technologies and begin creating a rainbow of resonance around the earth. We saw our friend Tom Salas. I talk about him in this video when uh, Hurricane Maria went through Dominica. The entire island was leveled, but his property that had um, plasma materials on it was not touched by this hurricane. So we want to do what we can on a physical level to change our environment and help upgrade our environment. We taught a workshop here where I live in the Yucatan of Mexico and we had uh, about a dozen wonderful young traveling starseed kind of people here. We made all in one day Ormus, Organite. We made a beautiful cloud buster with just little short copper posts in it. And we made Ormus Organite um, health pens all in one day. And we'd been in about a four month drought. And in the, uh, within a few days after we did this workshop, our drought came to an end and we have had beautiful rains, mostly at night, in fact. And hurricanes have passed us by. Um, it's been really incredible. So you can literally change your physical environment with these futuristic tools. Believe it or not, we do have, I believe we have beings from many dimensions, other planets, if you want to call them that, who are here on Earth helping us. And they have given us some of these technologies ahead of time before the 6,000 patents that have been hidden. I know we're all ready for the med beds, for the cleaning up the environment like this. And these things are going to happen. For right now, it's important for us to take action in our own worlds. And I want to encourage you to do that. Breathe, smile, and love. Change your own neurobiology to change the world, no matter what is going on around you, and you will help change that. Know that these principalities in high places are the contrast for us. We call these our brothers and sisters in contrast so that they can remind us that we are here to be beings of light and radiance in this world. So I encourage you to center in your heart, to do what you can also physically, because there are ways to put out information online, keep being part of the disclosure news, keep sharing, even if you're just sharing personally with friends. Um, I am now in Twitter and Instagram and some of the other uh, social media sites, but I'm still doing a lot on Facebook because it seems to be a really great hub. And I hope that we can continue with that. I'm just in the middle of resetting some of the links on my, on my, uh, on my website, 21stCenturySuperhuman.com, so that you can easily find where we're going. Okay, so love you all so much. Let's hold the light for all of our brothers and sisters on planet Earth, anyone who's going through tribulation because